it kind of worked out nice with PH1 whenever I adjusted, like, the, um, the, uh, or, uh, the, uh, um, the skills to what their elements should be. There's actually a pretty decent balance of everything. How am I supposed to get through here? I, I came from that way, didn't I? How do I get back? <laughs> Where am I going? Parasect, what have I done? I'm lost and confused. I'm not gonna fight things to, like, figure my way out of this pickle we're in. <laughs> How do we go back through the maze? I had to have provided a way. I know I did. Um, can't get through there. This fake victory bell's in the way. We already moved this guy aside. Uh, I don't think there is a way from this side of the little hedge there. There must be some way though. There must be. There must be. Parasite, help. Tell your friends to move. Um, yeah, no, we can't get through here. Uh, did I trap myself? Am I, like, totally stuck? Because I can't get past this Parasect. He's not going to be able to move if I go to approach him. And I don't think any of the other ones I have access to will move either, is the thing. Except there's, there's this track, but we can't make this guy move. And then there's the track below it, but we can't make that guy move, right? Oh wait, no. When that guy moved, he opened up another path. Leave me alone. Just because I'm on the right track doesn't mean I want to fight you. Yeah, see, now we can go through here. There we go. Figured it out. Still got a bit more ways to reverse navigate, though. Um, No, we can't go that way. Erk. No, what, what was I thinking? I can't go through there. This maze is a little bit confusing because there's just so much stuff in it. No escape for me. <sighs> I guess that's as good a sign as any that I should fight these things. Can't run, fight. First strike, fight. They're looking different, fight. This is the way of the warrior. I wasn't aware we put something to sleep. I guess, well, do we put the right backs? <laughs> That's Ferris's weapon power. Oh, quit doing that, would you? I mean, I guess it's better than them doing damage. It's, it's mildly annoying. Good, now it isn't. Now you know how it feels. Well, I would assume that you know how it feels to sleep. Most things have some idea of what it's like to sleep. It's a sensation that most living things encounter. I'm not actually consciously aware of any uh, living things that don't sleep specifically. Oh, I was on the right way. No, I. Wiggly Tops. No. At least they didn't chase us down that time. Okay. But yeah, I'm sure there are things out there that don't need to sleep. Like, microorganisms probably don't sleep, but I'm not specifically aware of any more complex organisms that do not sleep. Parasects, leave me alone. It was a pair of parasects. Ha. Uh, Alright, we're almost there. We've almost got that book of Vic. I can practically taste it. It's a very wood pulpy. Uh, no. We got pairs of everything on this little stretch. Oh my goodness, Scythers, stop! Ah, jeez, I had just knew. I just knew. I was like, this isn't gonna work, is it? I'm gonna have to go around. I was right. Okay, now. Go. Give me that buck. Look at Vic. Was it even worth the walk? I bet it wasn't. Acid? Did, is this contributing to your moveset in any way at all? No, not really. Sloth is not that valuable. Alright, well, let's go hit up that restore sun like I said I was gonna. And then there will be another restore sun waiting when we get back to this area again. I know you enjoyed that Parasect Garden so much that you wanted to see me do it a third time. But you know, that's just how the game is structured. It was either that or I walked through the jungle to back to get to the Book of Vic, which honestly probably would have been less trouble, really. Like, we would just finish this area. And then flame portal back to town, 
and then we would go back into the jungle for a uh, side quest anyway. I'm pretty sure that, well no, I'm certain that the executor that Eric will want us to inevitably catch is there. And it would just be a simple matter of taking a little dip into the rainforest because the jungle does not have a puzzle to wade through. But, you know, we already did that. We're already here. Choices were made. We must face the consequences. Gosh, she cut off his dying sound with Do the Wave. That's pretty rude, Wigglytuff. How'd you feel if your dying breath was cut off by some other silly sound effect? I wasn't aware I made it dizzy. I guess the game used Hurricane when I wasn't looking. Defeat. Give me more and more experience. Am I going the right way? I don't think I am. That loops back around. We want to go up here. Yeah, because this is where Matter of the Arena bottlenecked us. Stop! Get in there. Heal up. Alright, let's go. Onward into new territory. Once we finish fighting more of these things. It won't take that long. Really, we're just making up for lost time. Every bit of experience is more progress. Technically. We beat the last game at level 40. I don't even know if that's going to be feasible this time, but we'll see what happens. Just the more experience, the better. This freaking pounce. <laughs> oh, so silly and weird. Hey, look at that. We're about to get leveled up. This is what, 36 now? Yeah! What's the fastest way back to that maze? Probably the same way we just took. No, I took extra steps. Very cluttered forest. Alright, parasects. Let's do this one more time. This little dance of ours. And it's kind of a shame that parasect is... Uh, so ineffectual as a Pokemon. I actually quite like it. It's interesting, but man, the compounding weaknesses of Bug and Grass are just unacceptable. Although it's like extremely resistant to certain things. Like, you couldn't ask for anything better to fight ground types or whatever. There are pros and cons to all Pokemon. Sometimes it's just a question of can you mitigate those weaknesses? Like, that's how monotype teams usually get away with it. Like, they'll have a one, like, one Pokemon that's dedicated to defeating, like, most of their checks. And if they can take that out, then the rest of the team is less of a concern because, like, the Pokemon that was supposed to check it is gone. Like, if you have an answer for fire types, do you have an, one answer that can handle six fire types? <laughs> Something along those lines. Uh, that's what makes competitive Pokemon so complex. It's like, extremely complicated. Oh really? Oh really, Cyclops? You think you can just be fast with this, huh? Alright, now we'll play that game. Please stop raising your attack, it's quite alarming. You've seen what you can do. <laughs> nice dodge, bro. Oh god, in the future their slash will actually be powered up by Sword Stance. Now it's a mercy that he's just gonna use it instead of regularly attacking. Ooh, I'm asleep. I'm blinded in his sleep. I don't know how Ela managed to uh, perform such a feat that would blind him when his eyes were closed due to sleeping. Get out of here. Okay. Oh my god, why? If I recall correctly, which I'm certain I do, there are even more parasects awaiting us in the next section. Why? I decided when making this RPG that one parasect maze was not enough for one reason or another. Not quite sure what I had in mind. 
I believe the last step of the jungle is the dark jungle. Cause like the screen's just gonna kind of get tinted and it'll be the jungle again. <laughs> Slap the crap out of there. Wiggly cut. Oh, bam. No, oh, silliness. I mean, yay, silliness. I enjoy that silly attack. The silly attacks are what makes lazy worthwhile. What's the fun if they're all boring animations? I'm not trying to. Eli, Eli, girlfriend. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go straight there. Uh, as straight there as this maze will allow. Stop. Cease. <sighs> wonder what I might do to improve this puzzle, too. It's kind of a non-puzzle, but it's really not that bad. Like, you do have to navigate the maze in a non-linear sort of way. Like, it's ultimately linear, but figuring out how to do it is the non-linear part. Like, you can't follow the parasects down any of their paths, so you have to take the alternate paths. Be able to discern them visually, I guess. But is visual confusion really a puzzle? What can you call it that? Yeah, wait, parasect. Peaceable parasects. Gonna go around this way. Down here. Uh... Gooch. Mm -mm -mm. Look, man. It's, I don't feel like fighting you again. I'm sorry. I feel like we've killed enough mini-boss scythers to last us a lifetime. And yet I know there are more coming. Um, this way. That guy sure do zoom. If only all parasites could be so fast. I probably should have just made them all that fast, really. Like, there's no reason not to. I'm reminded of a puzzle in... What was it? It was... Ooh, we got the mini-boss Wigglytuff. Alright, look. I said no Scyther, but we haven't really seen mini-boss Wigglytuff here. We'll fight it. But anyway, I was thinking of... It was our, uh... uh it was in the Minish Cap. That's what it was. It was... A, it was like the dungeon had minecarts in it or whatever, and whenever you would hop in the minecarts, they would take you someplace else. But rather than uh, make you just casually watch Red Link riding around in a minecart for a long time, they made the minecarts comically fast. So it was not only a convenience for the player, it was actually kind of hilarious and contributed to the enjoyment of the game. So that was good. I liked that attribute of the puzzles. I can also recall in some of the handheld Zeldas that, that they handled something similar in a different way. And it was it was still fine. Like, uh, in those ones, Link would hop in the minecart. But he wasn't, like, static while riding it. He could attack and um, ch change things in his environment. With, like, I think it was in it was either Oracle of Seasons or Ages. I can't remember which it was. But he could, like, pull out his seed launcher and uh, strike switches while he was riding in the minecart and all that stuff, so... Even though that minecart was slower, there was a gameplay reason for it. So those were both good ways of approaching that type of thing. That's all I had to say about that. And in the case of BH2 here, where the parasects are sometimes slow and one of them is exceptionally fast for no discernible reason, I should have just made them all really fast. Like the comically fast thing. And the other video game. For player convenience. So they don't have to sit there watching the parasect. Oops, I didn't need to use that heal. I, well, I guess he did. Fancy recovered a lot, and he just ate a ton of damage. Why am I leaving this thing unconfused? What is wrong with me? Foul Lord of the dang thing. Uh, and maybe you do that, and maybe you, like, awaken Fancy and cross our fingers. Ooh, she, she's confused. Good. Very, very good. Alright, let's lay into it. Uh, big explosion. Water gun. You're out of points, my dude. Just attack. Big damage. We know it's already halfway there, but I don't, don't really know how much more it's gonna take. That was it. There you go. Did not drop the thing. How rare did I make those drops, man? I know they can't be that rare, but we haven't had any luck with them. 
I want to say it's probably like 10% or something. But yeah, they're items that let you use one of the boss's skills infinitely for free. Alright, now we're finally moving on to new territory. We're only like almost 40 minutes into the recording. Uh, yeah, this is definitely... I want to say there's a book in this maze right ahead of, right ahead of me, but it doesn't look like there actually is. I think the vile bloom plant is throwing me off. But yeah, we gotta keep a sharp eye out for secrets, and we've also got to find Mankey's space. I think it's in the bottom left. We could probably go right there, right now, if we wanted. Do we want... how do I get there? I don't remember where the trigger is. Snorlaxes are in the dark jungle. Uh... See, I see little paths like that and I just can't trust them. But it doesn't look like there is a way through. Yeah, no. There's nothing there. Um... Hmm. I got a lot better at my visual mazes in this iteration of the game. Uh... I'm like looking for books that I should be worried about getting, but I don't see anything over there either. I'm tripping myself out in my jungle. Uh, where am I going? Primates are also here, but we're still not gonna fight them because they haven't paired up differently yet. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, that's a real fight. This is gonna happen in just a minute here. That's... I think actually the Mankey section is beyond those guys, but hold on. I'm not done exploring. I'm certain there are probably items out here. I'm certain there are probably. Yeah, that's a statement of confidence if ever there was one. <laughs> but now there's... Every map has secrets, so surely this one does too. Whitley Tufts have carried over. I guess they probably drop green rings. Wait, maybe I shouldn't lazy while we're here. We should be a little bit conservative. It's not like our regular attacks don't do enough damage. In fact, they kind of do more than our average skills right now anyway. With such a high volume of low power skills, the game is more likely to pick garbage skills than if we just spam attack. So it's really just a question of efficiency versus entertainment. Um, there's gotta be a way through some of these tree lines, man. There's just, just gotta. Snorlaxes, help me. Tell me where the way is. Uh, Harumph. I'm paying attention to those tree lines, man. I'm just looking at the top right now. Not so much the middle. Primate. A little more worried about Primate than Snorlax, because I don't think Snorlax, uh... Well, yeah, I mean, he has that. <laughs> He's gonna waste his turns using that sometimes. Primate doesn't have any skills that don't do damage. Ow, I stunned my fat teeth. How dare you. Fix it. Cool, put him to sleep. Big ol' Snorlax. Still using it. Although it's possible he chose his attack and still fell below 50% anyway. Because, like, that's kind of how that goes. The, the monsters choose their action at the start of their turn, and if something would interfere with that action, like, um. Well, I mean, a status problem can stop it outright, but if it's a move they would only use when they're over half their health and they fall below half on the turn that they chose to use it, they'll still use it, is the thing. That's how that do. Now, stunning has happened again. We need our healer up and running, please. No stunning. Healer's up and running. So, ow, jeez. So it's just about to say, if Eli's uh, ability to heal goes up by one with every level up, 
then we can actually gauge how much that skill is going to do in the future when he's like fully leveled. You need to heal yourself though, like right now. Let's see, he's like level 36, I'm guessing. Which means he has like another 14 levels to go. So that means it caps out at um, 103, I think. Of course, he would learn Master Heal before then. And it's also possible it would actually go out by more than just one, because the way the, um, the levels are ratioed, actually, you get more of your stats 